So I wanted to make a video about the 1967 NAVA Mr. Universe competition. So this was the year that Arnold Schwarzenegger won the amateur division and Bill Pearl won the professional division. So this was a very noteworthy bodybuilding show in the history of bodybuilding because Arnold Schwarzenegger was only 20 years old when he won the overall at this amateur uh, NABA Mr. Universe competition. So the, the level of muscular development that Arnold Schwarzenegger had at this show compared to some of the other competitors was just absolutely insane. Now the second place finisher at this show was Dennis Tinarino, who was also a legendary bodybuilder in his own right. And he would go on to win this same show the following year. Um, but during this 1967 Mr. Universe, just the level of development between Arnold and Dennis was just absolutely insane, especially the back development, the chest development, um, just the size difference. Man, Arnold was just, he completely outsized Dennis Tinarino. Now, Dennis's conditioning was probably arguably a little bit better than Arnold's, but I think it's safe to say the distance between first and second at this show was incredible, despite the fact that Dennis was older than Arnold and Arnold was only 20 years old. Um, so in 1967, this was also the year that Bill Pearl won that year's uh, pro Mr. Universe competition. So a lot of people think um, there's a lot of pictures out there from this 1967 Mr. Universe of Arnold and Bill Pearl standing side by side. That's not because they competed against each other. That's because they actually both won the show that year. So Arnold won the amateur, Bill won the pro, and that's where all these photos of Arnold and Bill standing next to each other came from. So many people think that Bill Pearl is arguably one of the greatest NABA Mr. Universe champions of all time. And then Arnold was one of the greatest Mr. Olympia champions of all time. So obviously these photos of the two of them together are very iconic photos because it would have been awesome to see them go head to head on stage. However, Joe Weider seemed to know um, that Bill Pearl was a pretty big threat in NAVA, and he, it seemed like he didn't allow Arnold and Bill to go head-to-head -head, um, whenever he knew Bill was going to be in a show. So I think Weider had a lot to do with the fact that Bill Pearl and Arnold never really got to go head-to-head -head at their best. So back to uh, the 1967 Mr. Universe. So there was a tall, medium, and a short division at that year's uh, amateur Mr. Universe. So... Arnold Schwarzenegger obviously won the tall division with Dennis Tinarino in second. The medium division, you had Albert Beckles, um, who won that division, and he beat Roy Callender, who got second. So there's two more legendary bodybuilders right there. Um, and then in short division, you had John Citrone, who won that division, and Wilford Sylvester, who, won, who got second place in that division. And Wilford Sylvester also won the most muscular competition at the Mr. Universe that year. And then, of course, you had Arnold win the overall. So the reason that I wanted to bring this show up was, number one, because of the photos with Bill Pearl. I think those are some legendary photos of Arnold and Bill that a lot of people um, enjoy looking at. And number two, this was really the show that propelled Arnold into fame um, within NABA and within the bodybuilding community. So after this amateur win in 1967, he would go on to win the pro division of the uh, Mr. Universe competition in 1968, 1969 and 1970 and then 1970 was of course his last mr universe competition and would be his first mr olympia win then he would go on to win the mr olympia in 71 72 73 74 75 then again in 1980 so he actually was scheduled to compete the following year in 1971 at the mr universe competition and that was the year that bill pearl made his comeback and won that year's mr universe um, but actually, that was that was really the main show that Joe Weider was kind of speculated to have held Arnold out of that show because he thought that he was going to get beaten by Bill Pearl. And of course, you couldn't have your reigning Mr. Olympia get beaten by a Mr. Universe winner um, because that would discredit kind of the uh, quality of your show. Again, that was at the time that the Weider brothers were trying to make the Mr. Olympia competition the premier uh, competition in bodybuilding. So you couldn't have your Mr. Olympia get crushed by a Mr. Universe winner. Um, so some people might say that Bill Pearl is the real reason why Arnold quit competing in the Mr. Universe competition. So 1967, it was basically the year that Arnold got propelled into uh, really his uh, momentum of winning bodybuilding shows. And it's really what sparked the beginning of a great legendary career.